Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the classic Cantonese style Ju Chong Fun, which is a type of steamed rice roll using these dinner plates and maybe even a cake pan. And it's not a gimmick, so let's get going. As an Asian American, Ju Chong Fun is a comfort food. Uh, my mom would buy this uh, take home about three times a, a month after she goes grocery shopping. And, and me and my brother would always love eating this. Even though it is easy to make, it's just more convenient to buy a takeaway. And back then, it was cheap. Today, I think there's less places selling Ju Chong Fun. Uh, well, particularly in New York City's Chinatown. And probably it's more expensive today. But here right now, I'm in Thailand and they don't sell Ju Chong Fun at all. Which is why I make it for myself now these days. So to make my rice steamroll, the first main ingredient is of course, rice flour and I just need 120 grams of rice flour okay that's 120 and I need 10 grams of wheat starch that's 10 grams plus 10 grams of tapioca starch close enough you don't have to be too exact with the ingredients uh, so don't worry it's not like you're making a cake a quarter teaspoon of salt just whisk it up a little bit first and then add the water a little bit at a time. Okay, so make sure it's thoroughly combined and no lumps. And drop in a tablespoon of oil. I'm using sunflower oil, just a tablespoon. And give it another mix. Okay, so that's it. So now I leave this here for just 30 minutes because the flowers have to soak up the water. So while that's finished, I'm gonna show you the other ingredients. Right here, I have three tablespoons of dried shrimp soaking in warm water. And right here is 25 grams of spring onions. This is about two stalks. If you can find green onions, use green onions instead, okay? But this is what I have to use and it's a good substitute. For the dried shrimp, I'm just gonna dice it up, just squeeze out the water and just mince it. Okay, and that's it. Just a slightly coarse consistency, all right? Jump that back in. All right, so time to make the sauce. The first one I'm gonna make is a peanut butter because maybe for most viewers, putting peanut butter or steamed rice roll could be a little bit weird. So making the sauce is super simple. It's just basically one part ingredient. The hell? I don't know. It's that type of morning. So it's one part peanut butter two tablespoons of pe peanut butter and two tablespoons of water. So just give it a mix first. It looks like a lot of water now, but once I stir it up some more, the peanut butter will loosen up. And if it's still too wet, just add more peanut butter. And you just want to make it smooth, no lumps. All right, so that's it. There's my peanut butter sauce for my chung fun. Now for the sweet soy sauce, I don't like it too sweet because I don't want the sauce to compete with the peanut butter. So for this, I also eyeball it and then I'll give it a taste. So I'll put in like two tablespoons of soy sauce, a quarter teaspoon of pure sesame oil, about a tablespoon of water, and a teaspoon of white sugar. You can also use warm water to help dissolve the sugar, but this is just a small amount of sauce, so I don't really need it. And now I'll just give you a sweet soy sauce to taste. Okay. If you want it more sweet, then add more sugar, right? Oh. What is up with this morning? And now to make the hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce doesn't look runny, but it actually is, so you don't need to add too much water. There's about, I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. You don't even really have to add any water to it, but just adding in like a little bit of water helps make 
the sauce run easier over your steamed rice roll. So I'm gonna put in about one teaspoon. I actually added a little bit too much water, but it's all right, it's fine. There you go. Okay, now set this baby aside. Okay, so all the sauces are done and I have about like 20 more minutes to wait until uh, my flour uh, gets absorbed into the water. So I'm gonna set this aside and I just want to give you a little preview of what I'm doing next. I'm working on a recipe for making batongo, which is a Thai donut. Looks like this, pretty cool, huh? But anyway, this is a Thai donut and I'm working on a recipe and I should have a video showing how to make batongo uh, probably by next week. But so far, this is awesome and I'll be having my coffee right now, so I'll be right back. Mm. Okay, so my steamer pot is boiling. I have it at a medium high heat and I already lightly greased my plates. And as you can see, my flour has really settled on the bottom and the water is on top. So that's a good sign. It means that the flour has absorbed a lot of the water. So what you have to do is you have to mix it up. And I like to use a spatula and just scrape down the bottom and just mix it up really well. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my square plate. But I have to preheat it first, so I'm gonna put it down. Just preheat it for about 30 seconds to one minute. Should be fine. And add my spring onion and my shrimp ready. Okay. So I'm gonna add in a ladle of my rice noodle. Put in some spring onion and sprinkle in the dry shrimp. And cover it up. It should take about a minute and a half to about two minutes. All right, it's been about two minutes and it looks great, right? Put it aside. Put in your next oiled plate. Get it preheated. You don't want to pull out your freshly made chung fun for at least three to five minutes. It is a lot, lot easier to take this off when it's cooled down. All right, so that's done, that's preheated. Every time you add in a rice roll batter, just make sure you mix the bowl really well, okay? So the cooking time really depends on what size of the utensil that you'd be using. So you have to play with it at home. But usually whatever I use, whether it is a six inch plate or an eight inch cake pan, it usually takes about one and a half minutes to two minutes. It should not take any much longer than that. Otherwise it'll get overcooked. Okay, so here's my steamed rice roll. My, I finished them all. These are ones I made already. I, I cut them up already. And as you can see, they're different sizes, but because I'm using different size plates, but no big deal, it's still gonna taste good. So I'm gonna show you how to take it off the plate. It's very simple and easy. You can use a bench scraper or a spatula or whatever. Just go under. That's why it's really important to oil whatever plate or pan that you're using. Okay, just go in and just roll it over. There you go. See, that's why this one's smaller because I used a smaller plate. And for a round plate, just do the same, go around, just loosen the edges first. Go in on one end. Roll it up. Beautiful, right? And there you go, my chung fun. Now, now time for the sauce. I'm gonna start first with my soy sauce. There's only six rice rolls here, but I made about a dozen. I eat half of it already. Going with the soy sauce.
And then the hoisin sauce. Peanut butter. I don't know why I say peanut butter like that for, but I like peanut butter. And I forgot to mention, uh, I have some sriracha handy. Damn bottle. All right. Oh, check that out. And some sesame seeds. Sorry, I forgot to mention it earlier, but for some reason this morning I'm off my game. Go on high. There you go. Check that out. All right. This is like Hong Kong on a plate for me. Okay. All right, time for a taste. It's amazing how food can take you back to a certain time and place. The peanut butter sauce basically goes very well with the sweetness and the saltiness of the hoisin sauce and the soy sauce. And my rice roll is very soft and tender. Mm. Plus a nice hit of sriracha. This really takes me back to my childhood. Mm. So not only is the rice roll a main ingredient, also the sauces. So make sure when you make the sauces to taste it, and just check to see if it's your... Sorry about it, my cat is trying to get my attention. This cat is one of the friendliest cats in the world. I would always joke around and tell him that I will sell him on eBay. Okay everybody, thank you for watching. If you're watching me for the very first time, do subscribe. I make videos about once every week or so. And don't forget to like and share with your friends. So I hope to see you all again next time. Take care and goodbye.